having some good days off. I'm so excited. Let me pull this back so y'all can see everything I'm eating. Okay, let's say prayers right quick and we're going to get this in right now. Yes. Okay, Lord, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. If we had 10,000 tongues, we could not say thank you enough. This is food that I'm about to eat. Let it be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. All right, let's... Uh, so, okay, so my YouTube is growing, growing. Uh, thank you so much for all my new subscribers. So come on in, take a seat. Bring your Kool-Aid, your water, your snacks. Let's sit down and chit and chat. Yeah, so salute, salute. Sip, sip, sip this good, good stuff. Yes. Mm -hmm. I heard something today, y'all. It's funny. It was funny. Somebody said that when you are toasting, whomever you're toasting to, you have to look in their eyes. And if it's a mate, um, if you don't look in the eyes while you're toasting, you're going to have 10 years bad luck on sex. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, all my new subscribers, before you leave, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that notification bell right on the side. Ding, dong, ding, dong, ding, dong. Don't forget to comment, share, and like. I thank you, and I love you. We have some smoked turkey necks I found in a store. I let them simmer for maybe three and a half hours on low with all that good stuff in there. This is, you know, I'm the leftover queen too, y'all. This is my leftover barani rice with the uh, butter chicken. Uh, some leftover garlic naan. I'm not going to throw that away. And we have some fresh cucumbers with salt and pepper on it. Let's dig in and let's eat. How y'all doing today? You know, hot sauce. How y'all doing today? Well, I'm going to give y'all the first bite, too. You know what I should have gave? I sh you know what? Let me let me just do this for y'all so y'all can really see closely what this hood girl about to eat. Yum, yum. Give me some. Yes. It's a, like a lot of stuff. Different stuff. And it's okay. All right. Let's dig in. Because you know what? My house was smelling so good when these was cooking down. So, okay. The first bite. Yum, yum, give me some chum, 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 chum. Yes, yeah. Oh, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm -mm. Ooh. <laughs> that's good. I was hanging out with mother today and all her elderly friends, and she did some uh, barbecue ribs, sausage, chicken. Barbecue ribs, chicken, sausage, dirty rice, baked beans, potato salad, and of course we had some alcohol. Mm -hmm. I sat down with them and yeah, we got to really love and take care of our elders. We do. And they were so delightful. Some of them are so funny. It's just like, I laughed. We had a really good time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, one day, mm. <clears throat> all my new subscribers, y'all know when you eat these turkey necks, you know, there's going to be a lot of sucking. So, um, mama said, you know, my mama is a germaphobic person, right? So, I had to fix everybody's food. And this man came at the last minute, right? Mm. Okay. You know, smoked turkey necks has a whole different taste from like, the regular turkey necks, y'all. It's really good. Um, so he came in and he was about to fix food. My mama said, Bill, don't you put your nasty hands over my food. You walked in here and you didn't even wash your damn hands. 
And this is my daughter right here. She gonna fix your food. I'm like, ooh, she put him on the spot, y'all. All right. I fixed Bill a good plate. And it was mixtures of all, everybody, every race. That's It was so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And they all live in the community of 55 and over. But my mama turned 77. That girl is a nasty dancer still. She drinks her beer on Saturdays and holidays and her birthday, of course. You know, she, um, Loves her garden, and so I love her garden, too. <laughs> I, I sure do. Mm -hmm. um, I've been gone all day, so I missed a lot of lives today. But I'm with y'all in the spirit. Yeah. I'm just meeting so many good people. You know, until I get my 1,000 subscribers, I can't share y'all. And I want to share y'all so much. I can't wait till I get to 1,000. I'm going to be sharing y'all because y'all have good messages. Mm-hmm. I, I, yeah, I love it. And thank, when y'all share me out, I thank y'all because when y'all share me out, I do get a few subscribers as well. And I'm going to tell you, when I get to my 1,000 and I can do what y'all do, honey, every time you get on YouTube, I'm going to have somebody share. Trust that. Mm-hmm. So thank y'all. Thank y'all. My best friend, uh, we was talking today, and she, told, she was telling me about my last video. I think, um, I don't remember what I was eating, but... Um, I guess I was talking about sex. <laughs> and it was something I said about when you're dating, don't uh, play the wife and don't do the wife duties. You know, I had a couple of people talking about that today, so it was confirmation for me. Those elders... They said the same thing. Mm -hmm. So, I'm really on a good path. I know um, I get a lot of comments. I love reading as well. And I love my friends who call me. I want to do something. Well, and they call me and say, you know, Ruth, she had a good topic, you know. So, thank you, Betty Law and Gian and anybody else uh, that that looks really look at the videos. We do need y'all eyes, y'all. So, yeah. I um, got on my computer and I did the stream yard or the sum yard. I'm about to go live. I'm going to try it. <laughs> I'm going to be a little nervous, but I'm confident. Mm-hmm. Okay, single girls. No, single men. No, not us. We already have a vision and hope. I'm no men. So, this for my men subscribers. I sure hope y'all listen to this video. Damn, that's good. This garlic naan is, is good. Um, what y'all want? What the hell y'all want? If you single, I'm going to say that again. I had some food in, in the twist of my tongue. Give me a minute. I want y'all to hear this, right? You listening? What the hell y'all want? What y'all want? What you looking for? Comment below. Tell us what we, what you're looking for. Are we, I mean. Are 
I want to know. Because there's a lot of good women out here waiting on y'all to find us. Come on. What, what y'all here y'all looking for? What you waiting for? Let us know. What's um the first thing men, you, you, yeah, you, look for when you're looking at a woman? What's the first thing your eyes see? Mm-hmm. What is it? What do you hope that that woman have if you are attracted to her? Do you have uh, your preference already set? Because I'm going to tell you something about that preference. I too have one. And um, I just know that my preconceived thoughts of what my man is may not be who God going to give me. So I'm open I have to let that go. So let it go. What the hell you want? Now women, us. What the hell do we want? Really? Do we really know what we want? Come in below. When you see a man that you can be attracted to across the room, what's the first thing you're going to look at when he approach you? Or, or do you think, oh, um, that and this too. Uh, do you think that women, us, it's okay to approach a man to say hello and let them know that we're interested? Because I have my own thoughts about that. I think I said this on three videos back. I don't know. Stop I, you know, I have to be honest. I have three men that keep coming back, 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 back. And I ignore, 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 ignore. How'd I do that? Uh-uh. And sometimes I think about one of them may be that man that I'm supposed to be with. <sighs> No. Mm -hmm. God gonna have to come sit right side me and tell me who he is. Do you think that today time because dating has changed that we are so guarded that we don't want to be hurt? Well. We're gonna have to take the risk. Have y'all seen uh, Love is Blind? It's on Netflix. Netflix. Go watch it. I'm going to tell y'all. I believe Love is Blind. I believe that you have to get into your emotions and be vulnerable. Because you know what you want. You know who you are, I hope. And now... Sometimes, you know, my thing, I told my best friend today, I think for me, because I'm getting a little older, y'all. You know, I'm, a, I'm that older girl. <laughs> that older woman, not no girl. Girls don't get my age. They don't have my experience. I'm a woman. Uh, I'm going to change some things. You know, first of all, Uh, love is blind taught me something with the emotional part of us. We have to know how to talk and be vulnerable and just tell people what we want and who we are in the essence of really who we are. So my approach would be if you don't have intentions to be my friend, you can't be my lover. Is that a song? <laughs> is that a song? I don't know. But I'm serious though. I'm going to change my approach when they approach me. I want to know what is your agenda? Because everybody have one. I need you to learn who, who this hood girl is. 
I knew to learn what my past um, taught me and some things I may say or some things I may do now from what I went through. I need you to know the essence of everything about me from the inside out so that you can understand that I may be your girl. And then the same, I need to know if you're going to be my guy. So my approach once again would be, do you have an agenda to be friends first before lovers? I think it's important. You know, some situations, yeah, if I'm going to be honest, we miss that. Because that instant chemistry, that instant chemistry will do some shit to your eyes and your mind. Mm -hmm. And so, those are two things that mess us up. Our eyes see lust. Because we see the outside. We see a good thing. We see some good stuff. The eyes are our lust. Our mind is the playground for some thoughts that are not pure. <laughs> and that's the truth, y'all. So I want to get into the mind of a man. A real man. A good man. An honest man. A loyal man. Man, because I know and I really do believe that we still have a few of them. They may not be in your town. They may not be in your city. They may not even be in your country. So how about this? <laughs> I told my best friend this. How about this, y'all? The airport. Mm-mm. Yeah, that's good. The airport got people traveling from every continent in this world. What do y'all say if you can just uh go to the airport and hang around at the bar and in the restaurant? Because they, they different today. I possibly need somebody. Mm-hmm. I believe anything is a possibility. Just got to, you know, I think sometimes, a lot of times, we have to make the first move and then God will intervene in. Sometimes we really have to do the first move. And uh, for us who know God, who know yourself, we know that we have to position ourselves to be found. Mm-hmm. I'm going to find me a seat at the airport with a backpack. <laughs> like I'm going somewhere. I've been somewhere. I'm coming from somewhere. <laughs> what you think about that? Comment below. It's an idea. It really is an idea. So, um, y'all, I'm, I'm taking this food down today. As y'all know, Turkey next is one of my first loves before the the, the uh the snow crab. This I don't like that thing in the middle, y'all. What is that? I don't eat that. What is that? Who knows what that is? A bang? I ain't eat that. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna let y'all know right now, y'all gonna see this again. So look here. I went over my time. I hope y'all enjoyed this meal with this one and only hood girl too. I loved it with y'all. I'm ready to see the comments, y'all. Men, we waiting on you. I need y'all to comment so we can know what the hell y'all want. Come on through for us, baby. Mwah. That's a kiss for my man that's going to say you the one. Mm-hmm. <laughs>